Go. It's a game where you are a witch. Hold on. I can't believe I'm starting my new life tomorrow. Ugh, I have to pick something to wear. Yeah, that's right. Calico is a game where you can customize your whole ass bod. And guess what? You can be chunky. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Cinch? Oh, yeah. I want to have some hippies, but also big boobies. Check that out. But guess what? So, you can be plus. bottom hell yeah look at that chunky yeah honestly having a 4k monitor and choosing to exclusively play games without cutting edge graphics is such a power move you're mine <laughs> shoulders Ooh, oh you can make your sh okay so then i can like make it evened out with my hips all right nose bridge hold up all right, we're going to be spending about eight hours in here. Don't worry about it. Nose width. I don't know what any of that means. Okay. Lips. Max lips, please. Absolute maximum. Pose. <gasps> I'm going to do that one. And then eye base. What? Okay. Eye Oh, yeah, you can have hearts for eyes in this game. Check this out. I'll fall off. You can have hearts for eyes or cat eyes or ooh woo eyes. I want cat eyes for me. I mean, I want heart eyes. I shine. <laughs> heart hearts. Yeah, I want heart hearts. Eyebrows. You can have a lesbian eyebrow. This is like cutting edge eyebrows. Eyelashes. I like that one. Mouth. Ooh, shiny mouth. Yeah. Lips. When we do the makeup, we'll be able to. Wow, they're like really cutting edge with like the TikTok looks. Okay, so we can change the color of the makeup later. Oh, wait, hold on. So you can have your your blush be like any color. Oh, thank you for the cheers. I play rock, paper, scissors with myself to decide if I'll send you the rest of my bits. I won. Oh, thank you, Caulfield VA, for ch picking me for your bits. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You can make a male calico cat if they're born with XXY chromosomes combo. Very rare, but it doesn't it doesn't help with breeding more calicos to have more both male and female calico. Oh. TikTok copy calico. What color should her blush be? Maybe purple? Like purple blush? Wait, hold on. I should probably make my skin color my skin color because I don't know if people are going to be. So you can be any skin color you want, but like every skin color possible is the color you can be. I think I want to be a human color, though. So I'm going to be like this one. Yes. Hold on. I, get, I need to change the hair real quick. Oh my gosh. I think I want pink hair. Like pastel pink. Because I feel like that that's pretty uwu right now. Oh my god. I am the cutest bitch on the face of the planet. <gasps> oh my 
my god! Look at me! I've been watching you and Stacey's YouTube since you, your Beyond Two Souls Let's Play. Wow, that's so long ago. I barely ever catch your streams, but you and Stacey are my favorite YouTubers. You've gotten me through all tough times through the years. You've made me laugh, and I've been down and made feel less alone, and I've been lonely. I love you both and keep doing you, but but whatever. Loving your Let's Play of the Medium right now. Can't wait for the next upload. It's on Twitch right now, and I have to upload it. I'm really sorry. Um, we kind of took like this unofficial break together and like didn't say anything <laughs> i'm so sorry but we we are coming back i promise it's just there's been some difficulties with real life and uh thank you squirrel token hey mari happy birthday very funny and pretty and powerful thank you squirrel token thank you and thank you for the bits oh don't say my name sorry i'm sorry is that bad? But thank you so much. It's okay? Okay. Let's look at all the hair colors. The hair options. This one's cute. I think this one's cute. This one's cute. This one. Ooh. Oh, it's good to take care. Take your time. Thank you. Look, they got all kinds of cute stuff. I wanted one of the long hairstyles, but I'm glad the short hairstyles are here. Oh my gosh, look! You can have a hijab! That's so nice! Aw, that's great! I think I'm gonna go with something like... Like big and fluffy this one i really like this one this is going to be my choice but let me show some other ones so other people can enjoy it like some short hairstyles thank you for the bits it's mari's b-day she can choose whatever she wants if she chooses to nuke america we must simply accept it don't put ideas in my head because i will do it all right, so we're going to go with my big fluffy hair. Yay. Okay, close. All right. I'm going max uwu. All right. You get more clothes later. But gosh, I look so cute. Socks. Oh, eyes. <gasps> Closes. Oh, I can have more. Oh, wait, hold up. What if I had hard eyes with hearts and then heart glasses? <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> The character's almost as cute as the real Mari. Almost. Well, Mandy Chu, what happened? So right before your stream started, my dad has slight emergency. And now I've got to go pick him up. He'll be okay. Don't worry. Full close shoulder. Been dealing with stage 3 prostate cancer for two years now. But I promise you, he's okay. I'm just getting him home. So I'll be back in a while. Enjoy and happy birthday again. Thank you, Mandy Chu, for letting me know. And I'm really sorry to hear about your dad's um cancer and i know you're saying that he's okay but i'm still giving you my best wishes that he does well i think i like the monocle more oh <gasps> i can have a beard in this game But I don't want to have a beard. So how do I take it off? How do I? Uh oh. Okay. There we go. Thank you for the beds, Bambi. Joy. Happy birthday, Mari. Thank you. All right. What do you guys think of this one? She looks great. 
So, we're in the game Calico. It's an indie game. I got this game as a key. <gasps> Ooh, cute girls everywhere. Everything's pink. So you run a, a cafe and you make little treats. Oh my God, there's, oh my God. It's an entirely almost woman village. And in the little thingies, they have their pronouns. And you run a cat cafe and you grab animals from outside and put them in your cafe to attract people to come and buy your food. And that's how you make money. Is there meant to be sound? Oh my gosh, there wasn't sound. Hold on. Thank you for um, pointing that out, by the way. I appreciate you pointing that out for me. Because I am always messing that up. This is what we needed. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, hello. Welcome to Heart Village. I'm Kiva, the mayor of this village, and I have the coolest fucking stockings you've ever... I literally need to have this outfit. No joke. We're so excited to have you here. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Happy birthday, Mari. I've been watching since Dragon Age Theory days. I hope you're, you're enjoying your birthday. Thank you so much, BSM117. Honestly, the village just isn't the same without her. Wait, your, your aunt retired and the cafe shut down. Okay. Though she did send me a postcard last week, it looks like she really enjoyed traveling. Apparently, there are cats on the other islands. Isn't that amazing? Oh, whoops. Of course you'd know all about that, having come from another island. Anywho, what matters is you're here now. First things first, why don't you look inside your new cafe? It's a little boring and empty right now, but that's up to you to fix. You never mess up. The sound simply becomes intimidated by your perfection. Science. Oh, thank you. Being mayor and dressed as a cat girl? Goals. Exactly. <gasps> thank you for the donation, Bambi Joy. I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you for being wonderful. Thank you for the donation, Bambi Joy. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you, everybody else, for the Prime subscriptions and the bits and the donations. It means a lot to me. And um, I just realized that the sound uh, is still very quiet. Mm. there we go so now you can hear the cute music and it'll be cute I just thought you know I feel like yeah never mind wait why don't you go inside and check the place out come back and talk to me when you're done oh geez wait even more first I need to give you your welcome gifts here's a couple of things that'll help you settle in So you can pick up cats and other animals like crows and foxes and stuff and dogs. All right. So now I can hold to wiggle animal. So you can wiggle the animal. Okay. So are you seeing this? I'm wiggling it. Animal command. All right. And then you can also store the animal. Now guess what happens when you store it? That's right. The cat is on your head. That's how you store animals for when you're out in the world and you need to take them around. But the physics on its jaw make it look like it's not having a good time. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, thank you! Oh my gosh! Hold on. Thank you for the donation, Gross337. Really appreciate that. Much appreciated. Love to see it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. So that's the first important piece of information. And I go in here. This is my cafe. It's beautiful. It's perfection. It's it's everything anyone's ever wanted. Um, I th personally, for an indie game, I really like it. This is my home. Look, it's got some Life is Strange Polaroids and stuff. Look, I got a little pink computer. And I get to sit at the computer. All right. So I went around, looked inside, and this is my little cafe, and a little water bowl and stuff for the animals, and I can cook things in here. Hold on. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, you can use a toy. Oh, 
Oh, you can mount some of the animals as well, which is cool. Alright, I can't figure out how to make this cat leave my head, so. Did you check out the place? I love the layout and the star-shaped skylight is so pretty. There's a lot of work to do. It's completely empty of both people, animals, and food. Actually, I actually bought you some furniture to help out. I embarrassingly didn't know which kind you would like best, so I ended up bringing you a whole bunch. What would you say your style is? Cute, spooky, or rad? Here's the thing. My style's like a mix of cute and spooky. So I'm going to pick spooky for right now. That's just your look now, Mari. <laughs> uh, goodbye, starry side. Good night. This is so cute. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I have these items of that type. You should place them in the cafe when you get time. Alright, so now... How do I take this cat off? Oh. Command. Go to the cafe. So, see? Now the cat's gonna go... Okay, well, the cat's gonna do what it wants. And that's go to sleep. But it's supposed to go to the cafe. Alright, so now we're gonna do furniture. Store selected furniture. Okay, wait. Uh, hold on. Alright, I have this. So, furniture. Okay. I'm gonna put one here. What's interesting is that, like, the texture kind of moves as you move the couch around and I think that's a cool like little thing for the game all right I want this to look cozy but like also fun put this here um all right this here is that too close to the door I'm sure it's fine all right I'm gonna put um another one I'm gonna put a table here hold on And then Okay, so we got three and then I'll put Dude, this shit makes me so happy. I don't know what it is. It's like, ooh, woo as fuck. For anyone who hasn't played or seen this game yet, y'all are in for a treat. I love this game. I only got to play it a little bit before some stuff happened. But, uh, you know, this is great. This is a beautiful game. It makes me happy. So I got a mix of spooky and cute. My next piece of furniture, I want to get some cute stuff. Alright, so I put the furniture in. What, what do I do now? Animals! Your aunt always had a bunch of cute, cuddly animals in the cafe. Honestly, it is the best part of the whole thing. Why don't you look around and adopt an animal for the cafe? Normally, you should avoid wild animals, but the magic of this island has made them all super friendly and cuddly. You can pick up any animal and use the animal command to tell them to follow you or go to the cafe. Your animal jur journal keeps track of all the animals you met and lets you give them names, summon them to your party, or give them hats. So let's go find an animal. There should be a crow around here. Yes, okay. This is the crow. The crow is pretty cool. Um, and it's also kind of weird, but check it out. Look, it fucking loves the toy. Look, that's the... <laughs> Okay, but also... Alright, pick up Raven. Check this out. If I put it on my head... Alright, and then I jump off a high spot. It's a glider. T-pose to assert crow dominance. 
It looks like a nightclub. Do, 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 break okay, so I'm gonna check this out. Okay, which way is the thing? Look! So I think different animals can give you different bonuses. And I think you can ride some animals, too. But this is pretty cool. So I'm going to place this crow in my shop. Hold on. Follow me. So let's see if it follows me. Come on. <gasps> it's following me. Oh my god, yes. All right, so we, we, you want to bring animals back to your cafe so people will want to come. Breath of the Wild, Child's Play compared to this masterpiece. Alright. So now I have a crow and a cat in my maid cafe. So people will want to hang out with me for sure. What was the last thing? I can't seem to recall. Oh, food! Duh! Okay, so the other thing you need to learn is making food for the cafe. Can't have a cafe without cafe food and drinks. Your aunt left you a couple recipes, but it's not many. I'm sure if you talk to the other villagers, they may be able to share some family recipes with you in exchange for your help. But for now, why don't you head over to the kitchen and try one of those recipes? Sounds good. Oh, something else to note. This island is much, very much based on old magic. The way we used to do, we do things is a bit different here. I think you'll really enjoy the cooking, though. It's pretty fun to throw an egg the size of your whole body. Sorry, what? Oh, you'll see. Go try it out. Hi, crow. I love you. Hi, cat. Hold on. I got a pet. How to make friends. Get cafe with bird. <laughs> Cat cafe with bird. Did you get any presents? Um, I got a present from my mom. And I got a bunch of presents from the chat. That's what matters. <laughs> Purrs. Let's make a cupcake. Okay, so when you cook, you become a tiny little thing and throw things into a bowl and that makes it a thing. So let's grab some flour. Pick up, and then you throw the flour in the bowl. All right, and then sugar. Butter, all right, there's the butter. We got some butter. And then one egg, the size of my body. No, not vanilla, I want the egg. And then you throw it in there. And boom! You got a cupcake! You pick it up and you, and you put it into the thing and people come and buy it. Or do I put it in the display case? I don't know. Alright, now it's in the display space case and someone can come buy it. And then I make money. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You're a natural. I guess that's what that's what I guess all that's left is meeting some of your neighbors. Once you meet someone, they'll start coming to the cafe whenever they have free time in their schedule. When people visit your cafe, they'll buy the food you've made even when you aren't there. Your magical food stock is infinite, so don't worry about making new food every day. However, the town folk all have different tastes, so if you change up the food in your display case, they may tip you more for their favorites. Unfortunately, we have some problems traveling to and from the other areas of the island, which sucks. I haven't been able to get to the hot springs for months. Maybe one of the villagers has an idea of how to fix some of the blockades. Anyway, I hope you get the cafe back up and running. If you ever want to chat with me about it, you can find me or anyone else you've met on your map. See ya, friendo! So, um, I do want to work on the cafe, but I do also want to run around and show you guys just the game in general. So we can go around, pick up animals to send back to the cafe, and meet all the villagers. Also, there are clothes that you can buy, so I, I'm not going to be wearing these clothes, even though my ass does look fat in it. Um, it looks great. 
If I had any money, this would be the absolute perfect game for me. Cute girls, animals, cooking, furniture. Ah, yeah. Well, here's our first little villager. So. Hello there. My name's Mia. 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 Uh, Maya. Maya. M-A-I-A. Maya. Maya. Please, if I'm saying this wrong, please correct me. Vice President of the Owl Club at your service. Oh, but I'm sorry. I'm the Vice President of nothing right now. <laughs> there was a landslide that blocked the path into the mountains. If we can't go to the mountains, that means we can't have the Owl Club headquarters. And if we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters, that means you can't meet Freya. She's the President of the Owl Club and the President of my heart. <sighs> I'm in a real pickle of beans right now, is what I'm saying. I don't know if Kiva mentioned this to you, but there's a landslide in the entrance of the Snowbell Mountains. It's such a bummer. Can I help? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I have no idea how you can help, but if you can find a way through, I promise you I can be a prestigious member of our Owl Club. I've asked everyone in town to help, but no one could except for Autumn. I haven't asked her yet. She lives in the bottle on top of the hill next to your cafe. It's really high up, and I'm scared of heights. I know that seems weird for an owl-based magical, magical girl, but I can't actually fly. So, now... Wait, hold on. Um, oh, character. No. Um, there is an inventory. There's like a... There is an... There's a little journal that'll tell you all the pronouns to all the different villagers and that's really nice oh my gosh are you the new cat cafe owner i've been so excited to meet you this is the very this is the best day ever my name's Mar Mary Bell, and I own the fashion store in town. You should come by and see my clothes. You would look amazing in them. You already look amazing. I love your outfit, but can you always have? But you can always have more. All right, so these are the clothes that I can buy. Let's shop. I don't. Oh, rabbit tail. Should I get a rabbit? Oh, <gasps> and fox ears. Knee-high socks. <gasps> Floral deer ears? I bought it. I shouldn't have, but I did. <laughs> oh, character. What? Hold on. Head? Oh, there we go. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> yeah. That's good content. Knee high socks are very important. That's true. After you mentioned your character's cake, I had the a compulsion to slap my own. I had a metal part of my jeans. It hurts. I'm sorry. R.I.P. in peace. Cute witches and shopping. Heck yeah. Yay! <gasps> oh, yeah. Look at this one. Oh, my. What do we have here? A new customer? Or should I say a new neighbor? You're the one that took over the old cat cafe, aren't you? I always admire the industrious spirit. I'm sure we'll get along famously. Please, have a look around my store. You'll need to, furni to furnish that cafe if you want customers. That's true, I do need to furnish my cafe with your love. I mean, your stuff. <laughs> oh, recipe, bagel recipe. Cookie recipe. Brad wall de deco. Do, do. I'm gonna go for the bagel recipe. And then we can go back and make more stuff and make more money. Here's a black cat. Gratcha! <laughs> <gasps> when I b the cat gets to wear the little ear the the thing the the horns and the ears if I put the cat on my head Which 
check this out. <laughs> uh, Stacy's in the video game for some reason. Hey. Always cool to see a fresh face around here. I'm Ash. I um, work at the general store. I guess I'm Estelle's assistant. I don't always get her, but I learned more magic from her than I ever did in magic school. So this job isn't the worst. Oh, townsfolk. So we have Kiva, she, her. Kiva is a cheery but forgetful mayor. We have Mia, she, her. Mary Bell, she, her. Estelle, she, her. Ash, they, them. So that's cool. Ash is a heckin' babe, too. Yeah. I love the bouncy of cat physics. Cat wearing a little cat hat. Yep. Go to the cafe. Oh my god, and then it still has... <gasps> it doesn't seem to be going to the cafe. <laughs> it seems to be going to sleep. Meow, 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 meow. Just saying hi. Meow. Meow? Yeah. Oh, they have kinds of cool stuff. Oh, none of this I can afford. But he's got cool stuff. Oh, man. I know that all of you are want to hang out with the cat next to a dumpster. Don't lie to me. Uh, let's see. Their pronouns are... He, him. Oliver is a mysterious traveling sales cat who speaks only in meows. He moves from place to place, peddling a collection of eclectic and unusual wares. Okay, the cat is following me, but not going back to the cafe. Or is it? Oh, it's going. Alright, it's going to the cafe, so we don't have to... Okay. Look at this! There's a little heart on the lamp. Alright, so there's a land site, and so I guess we'll get to open up this city later. Love to see it. Okay. I'd probably chill with Oliver at the dumpster. <laughs> He's taking his time. Realistic cat AI. <laughs> Thank you for wishing me happy birthday, goth, goth dweeb. Fergie selling suspicious go goods by a dumpster? Hell yeah. Hey yo, friendo. How are you doing today? Need anything? We should really get on the path to mountains opening blah blah blah. Okay. Why is your house so big? <gasps> Red! Holy shit, hold on. I gotta send that to my friend. It's his favorite animal. Where's Jay? Oh my god, he's gonna have the horns now! Oh, <laughs> oh a Jay is here? Hi, Jay! Hi, other Jay! Alright, look at this thick queen. Hiya, I'm Sunny. Blossom and I are going are so excited about the cat cafe reopening. It's here where we were we first met. <gasps> I thought about running the cafe myself, but that would have spoiled the magic for me. Besides, I'd re rather run the boardwalk arcade. You think if I get the high score on every machine I legally own the place? Sure. Well, time to start heading home. Wait, I gotta talk to another- There's- oh, oh my god, these two are girlfriends, but they live in separate houses because they like their space. Um, hello. You must be the new cafe owner. Kiva offered to let me take care of the cafe, but it turns out cats are very different from flowers. They both require a lot of love, but cats don't like getting watered. Oh, my name's Blossom, by the way. It's nice to meet you. If you ever want to plant your roots and soak up some sun, you can visit the Garden Sunny and I share on the hill. So 
Sunny gives me huge mint from Tokyo Mew Mew vibes. Oh. Hi, J hi, other J. <laughs> Did I say thank you to Gyro337 for the donation? And Bambi Joy? Did I say thank you to them? Hit me the uh, hi, it's me the other J, Mary Port. <laughs> okay, just making sure. Whoa, look how cool this table is. Whoa. You're mine now, little dude. I'm gonna cook some more stuff and hopefully villagers will buy my stuff. Let's make a bagel. Put ingredients in the bowl. Okay. Flour. Alright, uh, yeast. Alright. Uh, oh, that's the yeast. Okay. And butter. No! <gasps> no! Butter, come back! <laughs> this game is very on brand for me. I must play. It's very on brand for me, too. It has some technical difficulties, but I think I'm willing to deal with it because I think, you know, there's not a lot of high budget games like this. And I like it. Look, hearts everywhere. And that makes me feel good. No, butter. Come on, stop. There we go. All right, we got two things. All right, egg. We gotta get an egg. And then salt. Salt, salt, salt. What is this? Oil. Is this salt? That's cream cheese. Did the salt slide off into another dimension again? Wait, where's the salt? Do we have salt? <gasps> Thank you for subscribing, Rondune. Thank you for saying happy birthday. Appreciate it. Y'all see in the salt? Because I can't find it. Cream, milk, floss. Oh, 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 it's in a bag. Okay, I'm dumb. I thought it would be in a salt shaker for some reason. All right, I made a bagel hole. And we th take it, the bagel, and we put it over here. All right, and then I want to make one more thing so we can have something nice for tomorrow. Let's make a coffee. Oh, coffee beans and milk. Okay, that's easy. That's a that's an easy sell for me. And milk. So then I can have a full menu and make some moonies. All right. And then it shows up in the little cabinet. So you have a little cabinet and the people can buy it and give you money. And... Calico macarons, yes! Salt where you at, bestie. Thank you for the help. Oh, the crow came to say hello. Come on, crow. Freak out on the floor. He just loves it. Look at him. Well, maybe, is he, uh, maybe he doesn't love it. Maybe there's something wrong. Oh, uh, uh, well, maybe I should stop. <laughs> I desperately, desperately want to make a crow friend. If I could go to the graveyard every day and give piece of bread to a crow who will bring me small tiny objects every day I would no longer have any sadness in my life I would never be unhappy again because I would have a crow friend 
I go to the graveyard, no crows. Where do I go? Where do I go to find the crows in in Chicago? Where are they? I will go there. All right, let's run around a little bit. How come no one's coming to the game? <gasps> Wait, I have like a water fountain out here? <gasps> I have koi? Thank you for subscribing, Col Colichas. Thank you very much for three months. Very appreciated, and thank you for the continued support. Cat food. All right, I'm going to make that macaroon because somebody said they were, like, really into it. So I'm going to make the macaron. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, flour, sugar, egg. Oh, my God, look at the crow climbing up the stairs. I'm really into it. There it is. Someone did come. Why is no one coming to my cafe yet? I don't like that I have four things on the menu. Um, because of my OCD. So I'm just gonna make another coffee. When my dad was a kid, he knew someone who found a baby crow that had fallen out of the nest and raised it. The crow stayed with him and would sit on the handlebar of his bike as he rode around town. Ever since I've heard this story, I've always wanted to find a crow and raise it. Yes, exactly. Visitor Q, if you do find a, find a crow friend, I think cut grapes are better than bread. It, it was called to my attention that I have been trying to make bird friends wrong this my whole life. <sighs> Alright, from now on, I will be cu holding cut up grapes in my pockets. Just in case! I see a crow, just in case. All right, time to go off an adventure. Why is no one, how do I get people to come to my cafe? I just have to like grab animals and put them in the cafe, right? Let's explore this way. Oh, I have to go to that witch on the mountain, hold on. Heard crows and other covids like unsalted raw peanuts as well. One of these days, I'm going to be going for a walk with a cute girl or boy, you know, with our masks on. And be like, this is our first date. And I'm going to have those in my pocket. And be like, oh, you brought snacks. No, these are not for you. These are in case I see a crow or a raven. And if you eat these and then I see a crow or a raven, I will never speak to you again. <laughs> <laughs> these are for <laughs> these are my just in case I see a crow or a raven snacks. They're not for you. Good night, bisected brioche. I have to go now because it's super late in England, but thanks for everything you do. Thank you. I hope you have a best birthday ever. Thank you. Dude, look at this. She lives in a bottle. Whoa! Oops. <laughs> Oop, that way. I gave the crows in my yard sunflower seeds. Now they wait for me every autumn for them. Aw, see? And the crows will be on your side because they remember. I've heard stories about how crows will attack people for years. Years. Look, what, like, the ideas they have for the cool stuff, I love it. And a bottle? I want to live in a bottle. Hey, girl. <laughs> Greetings, traveler, and welcome to my palatable emporium of potential portable, portable, portable potions. I'm Patum. 
Autumn, I'm Autumn. <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't have any potions available right now. My cap tar is missing and I have no idea where she is. And the warrior has gotten me totally making on potions. Lost cat. Wow, that would be incredible. I have a feeling she might be near the center of town. Last time she went missing, I found her in a pile of clothing at the clothing store. She wasn't there when I checked earlier, but it's probably a good place to start. Alright. You liar, you do have. Change animal to sparkling night vision of itself. Oh, oh. Magical hair potion? <laughs> yes, please. To change time to night. Reverse griffin potion. Turns a bird into a griffin? Or at least that was the plan. It's not quite perfect. It only works on birds. Power, power makeover potion. Dye your hair and make your eyes glow. <gasps> Witch toy? Oh my god. I, I gotta make money so I can get these things. If only we could have a loyal murder to love. Exactly. Alright, I'm gonna grab this crow. Alright, and I put this on my head. And if I point towards town, I can just float over there. Hell yeah. Hacks. Hack the game. And now the crow. Oh my god, look. The crow has the little antlers on. Hacked. She lives in a tree house. That's fucking awesome. One time I did I took a little mini vacation in a tree house. It was awesome. Now let's go to the clothing store, see if she's in a pile of <gasps> She has a bunny butt. <gasps> oh my god, I can't buy any of this stuff. It's not for sale. It's pissing me off. They don't have the hair wreath on here. Next time I checked, she was there. Pile of clothes. Alright, but what does the cat look like? That's important. Can I just bring her a random cat? What does the cat look like? This game has everything. Big true. Big facts. Did I accidentally steal her cat? <gasps> There's a bunny! I'm taking it. Is this my bunny? Alright, so that, that rabbit has a name, so I'm just going to not mess with it. The little questing says it's black with green eyes. Oh, I think I have that at my house. I think I stole your cat, ma'am. Thank you for telling me. Oh, it's all black with green eyes and was last seen in the center of town. Well, that's where I grabbed that cat. So I'm just going to go back to my house and maybe admit that I kidnapped her cat a little bit. You guys can't see me at all. all right. <gasps> Thank you for subscribing, Adamant. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. That was a really nice thing to do. Thank you. I wonder if I can grab fish and put it in my koi pond. Are you guys hearing that? Oh, <gasps> she's here and she's singing. Oh, it's cuddling with her right now. Hello there. Need anything? Today's a special day. I found abandoned owl eggs in the forest a while back and they're almost ready to hatch. 
I have them under a heat lamp in my bedroom. We should have a little owl chicks in any hour now. That's so amazing. I know, I can't wait for them to see the world. I'm worried about the heat lamp I'm using, though. That's what keeps the baby owls and the eggs warm. It's gone out a couple times, and I've had to fiddle it with to get it working again. Is it very important? Super important. It's not safe for the owl chicks if they don't stay warm. Honestly, I should just get a different heat lamp, but I'm worried to leave the eggs in case one dies again while I'm gone. I need to stay here and keep them warm as best I can. Ma'am, you are at the, the cafe? Can I ask you to run to the Essel's shop and get another heat lamp for her and come back? Of course, I don't want anything bad to happen to owls. Okay, but stop holding the cat because I need to take... Yeah, that cat has green eyes. Oops. <laughs> I kidnapped that woman's cat. Alright, we need to go to what shop? Go to Estelle at the general store. Okay. Getting texts from a lot of people. Oh my god. I'm getting happy birthday texts. Oh my gosh, Von Eric. I'm so sorry I didn't see that. Thank you so much for all the gifted subs you just gave me. <gasps> Thank you. That was really, that's really appreciated. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oops, paused this chat. Ugh. Thank you so much, Von Eric. I really appreciate that. And thank you everyone for being so generous on my birthday. I thank you very much. Um, sometimes I don't feel worthy of it, but I have to remind myself that people do it because they want to. And I'm very honored that you guys choose me to be the person that you give your subs to. And I thank you very much. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, thank you guys so much. <laughs> we love you and want you to be happy. Thank you. And thank you so much for all the gifted subs. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Von Eric. Thank you. I, I'm very grateful. Let's see. Where's the general store? This is the furniture store. You deserve it cool and smart. Thank you. I appreciate that a whole lot. Where is the general store, by the way? Do we have one? Is this it? Is that someone's house? <gasps> Thank you for the gift says Dr. Tatum. Thank you very much. That was really pre That's really th generous. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very flattered that you picked me to just give me subs. Thank you. Lily, you there. You look like a person that appreciates a good flower. And we appreciate people that appreciate good flowers because good flowers is what we've got. <laughs> uh, I don't get to practice my sales pitch to new people very often. But you get the idea. I'm Lily. I help my pops run the flower store. Well, now look who it is. It's been so long since I've seen you. Why, you've grown up from a sprout to a sunflower. You've never met me met before, have we? Oh, thank goodness. I thought I had just forgotten. <laughs> the name's Poppy. I run the flower shop along with my daughter, Lily. You can never have too many flowers. Alright, so this is obviously not the general story. <laughs> Your content always is like a fresh breath of air. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. I remember when I used to be really negative because I was depressed. Now I'm trying not to be so negative. It's like 
If you're positive. Oh, God. It's like... I know it's so annoying to hear that. It is. But... I think that... If you try to focus less on what makes you angry... And focus more on, like... Oh, my God. This tiny little thing makes me happy. You know? Do what makes you happy and don't do what you think should make you happy. Does that make sense? Is this the... Is the fox the general store? Oh, thank you for the bits, Edamant. I really wish I had more bits. You and Stacey have created something indescribably amazing with Geek Remix, and I could not be more grateful. You've seriously helped me feel okay with being a trans guy in a life situation that makes me sad. Thanks a lot. First of all, thank you for giving the, us the bits that you have. Um, you... I never want... I never want anyone to feel like they need to say sorry for not giving enough because whatever you give me is enough because everyone has different situations. So I, I, I want to know, I want you to know that I value whatever it is that you give me. So thank you. Trans rights, hell yeah. Okay, I can't find the general store, so I think I'm just going to forget about that quest. And go back and bring back the stolen cat that I might have stolen horribly. I can see my chat. Yay! <coughs> Punished crow. Are you secretly a crow? If so, you have to be my friend. The internet wasn't a mistake. I agree. Punish Crow. <clears throat> All right. Okay, cat. I'm sorry. I stole you from your friend. Come on, cat. Look at those cat physics. Chill vibes only, baby. <clears throat> I'm going to stream again on Thursday. I All right. So this has been my depression journey lately. I know. I'm always depressed. It's called obsessive compulsive disorder. Anyway. So everyone is going through. I feel like everybody is going through like similar things because everyone is having such a widespread similar experience but with like small variables and ever since biden has come into um office i feel like a lot of people have been just collectively gone huh and then a lot of conservatives have gone like Ooh. and so it's like I feel like it gave me a chance to breathe because <clears throat> I didn't constantly have something stressing me out. And now that I don't have like constant chaos, I feel like my brain is finally processing just how crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just how crazy everything is. And it's like finally I was able to just like catch up emotionally and then I just like needed to sleep. Or something. And, um... Stacy's feeling kind of sad. So please remember to say nice things to her on Twitter so that she'll be happy. Um... <clears throat> <coughs> I'm sorry, I keep uh, coughing. I don't think I have COVID. 
I don't have COVID. I don't have COVID. Anyway. But, um, like I was saying earlier, like, everyone's dads are going insane. So, here's my hot tip. <coughs> Hold on. <clears throat> um, thank you for being nice, Punish Crow. If your dad walks into the room and suddenly starts saying weird things, this is what you need to do. First thing you need to go, I don't know. Uh, that's, I don't know. I don't know, dad. I don't know. Then, what, this is important. Have a World War II history fact ready. You look one up now an interesting one and be like i don't know dad but i learned today world war ii history fact that'll distract it thank you so much for the gifted subs sister q that's very generous of you thank you uh i hope you use my advice if any dad your dad any dad if a father enters the room and they start trying to talk about things say oh i don't know i don't really know a whole lot about that even if you do, even if it's on a subject that is absolutely super offensive, do not engage with it. I promise you, you won't win. Everyone will be mad. And then World War II history fact. It works. I promise. Okay. <laughs> but thank you again, Visitor Q, for the gifted subs. It's really generous. And thank you. I'm very grateful for that. Thank you. So let's return the stolen cat. Oh my god, I found your cat. Somebody stole it, but I fixed it. <clears throat> what? All right. All right. Here. Here's your cat. Ma'am, ma'am, I have your cat. I can't believe he found my char so quickly. How can I ever repay you? Mm, just money. Help with the landslide? Oh, hmm, that's a hard one. It would be great to be able to go, go back to the mountains since one of since one of my biggest customers is there. Lomi at, up at the Snowbell Hot Springs always commissions potions for me for her herbal baths. I don't really make potions that blow up rocks, though. Let me think about this a bit. I got it. Come back tomorrow and I should have something ready for you. Dude, look at that. That is such a cool house. One day, when I build myself a tiny house, I'm going to tell the builders, yes, can you make it inside of a giant glass bottle? And I won't take no as an answer. What was happening Thursday? Oh, <clears throat> I'm going to stream. I have to get back into streaming, and I have to get back into making content because I got lazy and sad. But um, it's important that I do my responsibilities because I know for a fact that when I'm really sad and dysfunctional, if I just achieve things, I will feel better. And uh, sometimes when you're sad, like you do need time to process what's going on. And then sometimes when you're sad, you literally just need to have to do something. And it's like the guilt of like, I haven't done anything, blah, blah, blah. Erase that. Because the guilt of you feeling like shit for ha not having done anything is stopping you from starting to do things. So if you let that guilt go and just let it go and just start from scratch now, you'll, you'll promise, I promise you'll feel better. You gotta let go of that guilt. You know how like when you lay awake at night and you think about all the stupid shit you've done? Nobody cares. And if they do, fuck them. Um, this is me. Oh. My name is Mari, and I am giving you, each and every one of you, a genuine, p genuine permission to allow yourself to say, I don't need to think about things that make me feel like shit because I don't deserve it. That's just my how my brain works, and it's not healthy and it's not functioning right. 
So actually, all these things that are trying to make me feel like shit about random things I've done, even if they were really shitty, obviously I feel bad about them now and I've learned from them. So I don't need to feel bad about them anymore. This me giving you permission. <gasps> I can get a doggy and I... There's my crow looking at me. He loves me. Every day I wake up and there's a crow looking at me. Mari, you would make a lovely counselor. That's why I'm going back to school to become a therapist, baby. All right, people need to come here and eat my food because I'm getting pissed. Wait, where's my... I had a... I had a red panda. Where'd my red panda go? Oh, Red Panda was named Patches. Oh, I stole I stole people's pets. Checks out something I would do. <sighs> Thank you, Mari. I really needed to hear that today. Well, I'm glad that you heard it. Because that was like a huge breakthrough. My asshole ex-boyfriend said that to me. And for some reason, that really came through to me. Where he was like, you know, you don't have to think about things that make you feel like shit. Like, just don't. And I had heard that before. But hearing it from somebody who was such an asshole... And that really just had the confidence that I didn't have. And I was like, if this asshole can feel good about himself by simply going, I will not think about it, I'm allowed to as well. Your asshole ex-boyfriend sounds like an asshole. Yeah. Magically cured when you simply don't think anymore. Honestly, true. A fact. Also, if you have obsessive compulsive disorder, might I suggest high amounts of full spectrum CBD with your coffee in the morning? I'm talking big boy, a huge amount. Thank you so much for the gift, gift subs, Nathaniel Mars. I really appreciate that. Thank you. That's very generous. And I'm so thankful for everyone who's been really generous today. I have a really lucky life and I'm trying to be more grateful for it and not try to think about the past because I think about the past and I go, oh, that's so unfair. Why did that happen to me? I didn't deserve it. Like, why is there no justice in the world? These people who do mean things, blah, blah, blah. And then I think, oh my God, but I'm lucky right now. And like, I went through all that stuff. And if I want to think about like, I don't know, just, I'm lucky right now. And I don't have to think about things that make me feel like shit. Because then I'm just thinking about things that make me feel like shit. And I'm missing out on trying to enjoy this moment. So, that's what I'm trying to do. Do you want to say stop by and happy birthday, Mari? You beautiful, you beautiful, beautiful person. Thank you so much, Ray Royal Haven. And thank you again, Nathaniel Mars. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the help and kindness and just I want everyone to be happy. It's okay to think back on things like that though. It's good that you don't blame yourself for people's bad behavior. I do blame myself, but I am working on it. Where I go like, what did I do to de No, I didn't do anything to deserve anything. Life is life. So sleepy. I stayed up all night tinkering around with this potion. You have to spend a lot of time getting a potion right before you use it. It's a shame if you don't test it enough. And let's say you're t you turn yourself into a half cat forever. Oh no, a half cat. I mean, I really like being half cat, but still. Sorry, what was I saying? Oh yes, potion. Presenting the first ever Bigify potion. Use this on any animal to make them huge. Oh, but it won't work on birds. Mixing flying and magic is tricky. 
How will this help with the landslide? Oh, 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 whoops. Uh, I mean, this potion is perfect. The potion making kitty big and strong ki and big and strong enough to plow right through those rocks. I mean, I think that'll work. Try it out. All my potions are reversible, so just use them on your animals or yourself as a second time to undo the effect. Alright, let's go grab an animal, and then we'll go break the thing. I kind of want to just grab that cat, just to shorten things up. Do you mind if I vent? I'm pretty sure my family thinks I'm a fake trans person. Oh no. I'm not trans, so I can't, like, fully say anything, but, um, I want you to know that it doesn't matter if they think you're a fake trans person because you know that you are a trans person. Chat, you're going to love this bit. Alright, I'm going to grab a cat. Hold on. Not a bird. Where are my animals? Oh, okay. Come here, cat. Bloop. Are there any dogs in this game? Yes, there are. <gasps> oh my god. A group of hot girls. Whoa, what are we doing? Hey, guys. Are you, are you coming to my... Are you coming to my cafe? Oh my god. Look at this one. Oh, I really like her outfit the most because it's like got that bow in the back. And I think that's really cute. And I like her outfit and her shape. I'm pretty sure the these two, the blue one and the pink one, are uh, girlfriends. It's my little tradition around here to give a gift out to my garden to any newcomers. Say, are you experienced with flowers? Here, this is for you. Please put it in your cafe. I hope it brightens up your life. Take care now and come back to visit anytime. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, wow. And it hangs on the wall. Oh my. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, this is great. Oh yeah. I love that. Okay. Come on, cat. I like the way the cat looks when I start running. Hold on. Whoa. All right. We got to go over to the broken thing. Oh, here it is. Flowers they hang on the wall. Thunderous applause. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay, break it. <laughs> cool. Hell yeah! This is so cool to me. I don't know, it just like, it just-
thank you everyone every by the way for giving adamant some um really good uh advice i didn't want to be too presumptuous in advice because i'm cis but i wanted to give support but i thank you other trans people in the chat for being supportive go to the cafe dear oh no i broke it <laughs> go go to the tech cafe Okay, well, I guess the deer's just gonna do whatever it wants, but we're going on an adventure. I like when you pick up stuff, it turns into wiggle bones. <laughs> the deer said sleep. I am strong. Thanks, Silda kid. Sid, the sci fi kid. There's a, oh, oh, there's a polar bear. I'm gonna pick up this bear. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much, Sugar Daddy, <laughs> for the donation. Happy birthday. Hope you get to have fun and sending positive vibes your way. Thank you so much, Sugar Daddy. I don't know who you are, but you can be my Sugar Daddy. <gasps> and there's baby cups. <laughs> Go to the cafe. Please, oh my god, are they all going to the- <gasps> Oh my god, there's a wolf! I'm taking everybody, everybody, everybody to the cafe! <gasps> I think this is a dog, actually. Come here. Oh, no, come on. Come on, dog, come on. Gotcha! I like that I don't have to, like, gain their trust or anything. They just do it. Look, they're all heading to the cafe. Yes! <gasps> Thank you, Shitty Girl Dad or Kyler. Donated 420. You should have added context. There you go. Oh, thank you, Kyler. You are my sugar daddy, aren't you? <coughs> only if, um, only if your fiancé says that's okay for me to say, though. I don't want to be, you know, rude. Thank you for being my sugar daddy, Kyler. <gasps> oh my god, magical, magical girl. She's got, she's got owl feet. Oh yeah. Oh, it's Freya. Thank you so much for fixing the path. I missed Maya, Maya so much. She's the coolest. We met over our mutual love of owls. I don't like that voice. I mean, we're also both owls, but we also really like owls. We have an owl club together. We have one one other member named Ash. Ash isn't an owl, but they said they really dig, really dug owls. So this is the leader of the owl club, I guess. Wait, was that a bird up there? What was that? No, it's just a stump. I wish I could, like, collect the... The mushrooms I'm seeing all around. Alright, I want to head back to the cafe. Eventually, and see, like, if all the animals come. Good night, Liv Liv's Lost. Thanks for being here, and thank you for wishing me happy birthday. Shirokuma Cafe. Been a fan since 2015. This is my first stream I've caught from you live. Happy birthday. Thank you, Lazy Gazian. Gazian? Gazian? <gasps> Does it mean you're a gay Asian who's lazy like me? I love how cute owl girls. I'd marry Ash in a heartbeat. Yes. By the way, just a reminder, Ash is they, them. So just, uh, not saying that anyone got it wrong, but sometimes I just like, you know, to remind people just in case. Oh, it seems like this is blocked off, but there's a little dude down there. Let's go say hello. Um. Ah! Oh! All the kitty workers are sleeping. Construction cat. Ah! Happy birthday. Oh, thank you, CGC Research. And thank you again, Von Eric, for the for the gifts. This game fully released or is in early access? Um, I think I they're constantly making updates, so I don't know. It's Tess. <laughs> oh hi, Tess! 
my beautiful they them non by non binary monarch meow 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 I'm sorry what meow 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 me meow 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 can I go through meow no a crew of construction cats are blocking the road to the city ask around the mountain to find out what the problem is I love construction cat the construction cats have unionized good for them very important kitty doing very important things yes Whoop, whoop, whoop. Dude, I love that you can be fat in this game. I did cinch my waist, but there is the option to have an uncinched waist. So if you want to feel like your body is in the game and you don't have a cinched waist, um, that's amazing. And you can have a, a round belly. By the way, one thing I've noticed about like fat positivity and body positivity is that women who are the same, like, weight and size as me uh but have different proportions as me are not given as much positive attention as women who are the same size as who are shaped like me oh thank you sugar daddy kyler don't worry the fiance jack gives his seal of approval okay so then then i'm okay with it thank you sugar daddy kyler <laughs> um but what i wanted to say was that like I'm plus size, but I have large breasts and a small waist and, like, thick thighs and a big ass. And that is the, like, socially acceptable version. And I recognize my privilege in that I've noticed that people are really nice to me. And then I see other women who are the same size but have different proportions are not given that same amount of respect and love. So I just want to say that, like, I think when we're being body positive, try and also be like, yeah, like, all bodies are valid. So I don't know. I just, it's something that bothers me because I think it comes down to like, oh, it's body positive, but only if your body is plus size in the way that I want. And it's like, no, that's not right. Oh my God. Oh, I have a polar bear and baby. Yes. And a giant cat. Oh my God. And a wool. Oh my God. I get you. Yeah. I agree. For too many people, fat positivity stops at size 24, which is like, no, super fats and in, in, infinity fats deserve more in respect too. What is an infinity fat? But I like that name. I like those words that you're using. Thank you for saying happy birthday, Wilmer, 0102. I remember Ashes they then. My bad. I didn't mean to lump them with the owl girls in the same sentence. You didn't do anything wrong, Sid, the sci-fi kid. You didn't do anything wrong. I just get like a little like, I don't know protons and stuff it's an ever-evolving subject and i just want to stay up to date you know <laughs> so now i can have a giant cat with ear with horns who loves me look they look at me when i get close Dude, I really like this game. It, it like, scratches a bunch of itches, and it's not too complicated. Um, it is a little glitchy, obviously. That is a huge cat, yeah. This game is so relaxing. I love it. I'm glad you guys are like really chilling out and vibing. Oh, everybody's coming downstairs to say hi. Oh, I gotta get some beds or something for these babies. Oh my god! A chu uh, what are those called? I almost called it a chukacabra. Chuc chuc no, that's not what it is. What are those? I 
I have a thousand dollars. Alright, and I oh I guess it's like infinite. Like if I make it, it's just infinitely there. Because it seems to like not run out of stock. <laughs> Petition to rename the capybara the chucacabra. <laughs> <laughs> it's a capybara. Yes, exactly. Thank you so much. Crow, this game is so cute. Oh my gosh, it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, how did you get the live long and prosper? Alright, I gotta ask. Oh, by the way, owl girl. Hey, owl girl, come here. Don't go away. Hello there. You need anything? I'm not moving an inch. I could get a more reliable heat lamp. Okay, where can I get you a more reliable heat lamp? Because I don't know where the general store is. Is it like in the city city? Estelle at the general store. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, so that's who Estelle is. My god, Estelle's like sexy as fuck. It's my own emote. Wow, Bennett Star, how did you do that? <laughs> darling, so good to see you. Darling, so good to see you. The heat lamp for me Maya? Emergency heat lamp, hmm? Does this have anything to do with our owl chick she was trying to hatch? Yes, her old lamp keeps going out. Oh dear. Well, luckily I have just the lamp guaranteed to stay on and strong. Here you go. Don't worry about the cost. I'll talk with Mia Me later. You run that back to her right away. Thanks, Estelle. I like how she just animated me where she just didn't look at me. That's some anime energy. Magic. Also, Star Trek is life. Aw, Bennett Star. Do 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 do. Chubby witch in the woods doing quests and making money. Hello there. I did the thing. Hi, you got the heat lamp? That's amazing news. You're just in time. This one died on me again. They haven't started hatching yet. I'll turn the new one on and it should only take a minute to warm them up. Soon I'll be able to welcome these little ones into the world. They still need to stay under the heat lamp for a while, even once they're born. But then they might not have made it if they weren't your, for your help, but now I know they'll be okay. Thank you so much. Yay, what did I get? What'd she give me? She gave me an egg table. Okay, cool. Oh, thank you for the birthday wishes. <gasps> Dog! <laughs> Sorry, I just had to grab it as soon as I saw it. Yes! Aussie. Come on. Dog hat. Is that an Australian Shepherd? Yes, it is. And I have a giant cat floating in the air. You're my dog now. You're my dog now. <laughs> Look at all the animals just start flopping on the ground. That polar bear got some crazy dance moves. Agree. Alright, we gotta ask around town to get the construction cats to chill out. <gasps> oh, 
whoa, 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 whoa. Is this a puppy? Is this a puppy? Is this a puppy? It is a puppy! Wait, is it a cat or a dog? Is it a puppy? Is it a cat? Thank you for subscribing, that Dalish guy, for 10 months. Thank you, our baby's one month old. Yay! God, I have so many animals now, and I love it. Makes me happy. I'm gonna go run around, just for a little bit. Thank you for subscribing, and our cheesy. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And thank you again for all the wonderful subscriptions and bits. I am so thankful for all of you today. Thank you. There's a giant cat with its butt stuck in this log. I wonder... Oh, wait. I wonder if I can shrink it. Hold on. It's asleep. <laughs> oh, I can't jump down. So I guess I have to figure out how to make this cat wake up or something. That cat is almost as fat as mine. <laughs> How'd you get a black name, Bennett Star? That's cool. Everything looks so soft in the game. I feel I could roll around in it forever. Ooh. Oh, people are buying my food. Yes. And they're coming because I got all the animals. Oh my god, I have a thriving maid cafe! Hi there, flower friend. Need anything? Actually, yes, I do need something, if you don't mind. I was supposed to go and meet Zin today. Do you know Zin, the mushroom magical girl? No, but I would love to. She's been telling me all about the different kinds of edible mushrooms that grow in the deep woods. There are over a hundred species. Isn't that amazing? I thought it would be fun to try and growing some in my vegetable garden, and Zin offered to gather up the spores from the woods for me. But now the store got super busy and my day has totally spiraled out of control. Do you think you could go grab the spores from Zen and tell her I'm sorry I couldn't make it myself? Sure thing. I don't know where Zen is, but I'm happy. Oh, it's in the city maybe? Hi, puppies. All right, let's go to sleep. Do you guys want to see more of this game in the future? It won't. Right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so more of this on Thursday. All right, uh, this is me committing to it. Do you guys want to watch um, Being Puppy Cat on Discord? You guys want to head on over to the Discord and play and watch Being Puppy Cat together? Yeah, okay, we're going to do that. Uh, how do I quit?